rap. Have you ever seen, seen him use it? So, when Fran here had a plan to handle that, and her first choices were too expensive, we agreed to do it. <laughs> Isn't she great? Because who can afford a magician these days? <laughs> now today's a day of love and we're proud of you, G. The ceremony's over and now you can breathe. We did a bit of research on you, man. <laughs> Had a browse and a read. Just a normal level of digging, really. Your standard degree. You know what I mean? The fact that you teach acting to teens. That wide as hell Cheshire cat mouth you receive through your family tree. <laughs> also, also things like the fact that you travelled to Crete with Fran for a week and while you were there you thought you saw a really weird creature but then it happened to be the back of a sheep. That was a bit <laughs> That was a good apologies, mate, that one's on me. But yeah, just your healthy level of snooping. You know, the cat that you feed. Bossington. Who one night came, who one night came back to your house in your sleep with a mouse in its teeth. But you let and you took out in a bowl and let out on the street at 1am. Let out on the street. Oh, that's really just nice. a totally regular, not at all creepy extent of fact finding. <laughs> and now we kind of feel like we know you. So we're glad we can meet. <laughs> and we just hope that you're as awesome as you sound in the sheet. Because to be honest, when the research on this man was complete, we thought, damn, I kinda wish he was marrying me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is how it should be, because Fran's the girl of your dreams. A girl you didn't even know in 2003. The only reason we said 2003 is it happens to be in the sound of the scheme. But don't tell him that. Look, the point is, today's the day you get to make your family pleased. That you finally mustered the courage to get down on one knee, and we're sure everyone in this room is bound to agree when we say congratulations, congratulations James, because she is out of your league. <laughs> Firstly, we hear you're addicted to Sunday dinners. Hmm. Well, that totally ain't nerdy. But if tomorrow there's a risk that you might blow a brain circuit if no one's made turkey, tonight we're making sure you get a roast a day early. Uh. <laughs> now, now, James is pretty happy to get married with guests. He's been satisfied with Fran since they met. Showing off about the age difference he's glad he could get. Like, I'm 33, she's 27. That's six years younger than me. Back of the net. <laughs> Except when you were 16, she was actually 10. That's an offence. <laughs> he spends his weekdays teaching a bunch of kids whose parts are to act, and his students think his lessons in drama are rad. But the reason you teach drama is because you can't even add. I'm saying, no king of the dot punch, but you're a disaster at math. Yeah. Oh. Hey, James. <laughs> Saw you earlier. Nice suit. Oh, yeah. The jacket's blazing. Clever design, yo. Where was that fabric made in, Yemen or Cairo? <laughs> I saw the suit, the whole fit was great. That's amazing, incredible tie, bro. Your fashion statement's better than my clothes. You're like Patrick Bateman, an American psycho. <laughs> and look at those teeth! Jeez. You put the mile in smile. <laughs> you heard it from your inner party. He's got that Scott Howe's long mouth, the width is balmy. That grin is wider than Mini Drivers, it's big and hearty. His favourite songs are Grin Too Deep, Grin Sane in the Membrane, and Anything by Grin Stefani. <laughs> the smile is so great that earlier when Fran went to throw away the flower bunch, it hit James in his own face. And while all of you were stood around like, no way, we were like, yo, Fran, is your bow K? Is your bow? Now you've very inconsiderately given Fran a harder surname. Lucky for you, she's not once stressed it, but you still gave her that double barrel at the altar. Mm. Shotgun, Shotgun wedding. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yo, we also heard something. Okay, we also heard something ridiculous concerning the amount of time you spend in the bath. What is it? At least twice a day. What are you scared that you'll start sweating in class when they test the alarms? <laughs> Where's the chair in the bath? Where's his underwear in the bath? Does his cooking tax return and marking there in the bath? Fran wants to join in, but he ain't sharing the bath. Except on weekends, but there's a fair day he'll charge. As soon as she catches him putting on that peppermint marsh, he didn't even ask where he's heading so far. We're just surprised you didn't help, you haven't held this wedding in bath. Or at the very least, maybe <laughs> Lemington Spa. <laughs> Fewer cars produced in Asia than bars that you have taken. <laughs> James, James has told you all he teaches drama. That's the largest fabrication. He actually works for the council in Market Harbour for his payments. The department where he's stationed, baths and recreation. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because uh, I spent 20 minutes tops in the tub. You don't take bars like that. <laughs> you don't have your skin texture looking scarred like that. So don't be fooled that he smells better. You know his bars type one. Wow. And he'll be there on the honeymoon to bring those bars, bars right back. <laughs> get engaged and set a date to preparate for your special day and decorate up the wedding cake which is smelling great. Good effort mate. We couldn't ever wait to be helping James to celebrate. And until now we could only ever speculate. But seeing you both in the flesh today, I'd like to be the first to step and say I bet that they will have a beautiful marriage. Though statistically you'll separate. <laughs> gym like every day, pumping true heat. Your wife must think you're obsessed, you bloody loony. But Fran, I wouldn't worry that your husband's becoming too keen. It's traditional to buy a treadmill for the honeymoon suite. <laughs> he started off just going to the gym for last, but now it's like he's on a mission to get trim and fast. You can tell he'll never miss a fitness class simply by looking at those flipping arms. I mean, this kid is hard. He's triple hard. He's championship weightlifting hard. He's Bronson swinging on the prison guards. <laughs> I heard he wrestled off a killer shark. You can catch James at bodybuilding tournaments, sitting in the front row, and if one of them glances at Fran and finish them with one blow. You all got your invites. There's a gift he put in one though. One of you lucky attendees got two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> this wedding's look fantastic, guys. Kudos on the preparations. And it's been an awesome to it's been an honor to come here and roast a couple with such awesome reputations. I suppose what we're really trying to say with these very clever statements is when all's said and done, we're just grateful of these <laughs> celebrations. This evening was magic, and we hope we haven't been too mean with our rapping and that nothing was left to leave you feeling embarrassed. Because to be honest, we were really ecstatic, and taking part in this is something that seemed extremely attractive. Now, Fran, you did tell us that he's a romantic, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys leave in a carriage with James speaking in Spanish, and I bet the hotel honeymoon suite is fantastic. And in 50 years' time, when you speak to your grandkids and recount every awesome memory that you've captured, even if they say they're bored like unappreciative bastards, you'll still know it's the result of an unbelievable marriage. So with that being said, Congratulations, James and Fran, the Eagles, Eagles have landed. landed. Oh, oh, oh.